Hey everyone and welcome back to What After Dentistry. Mm -hmm. Now if you remember last week we had uploaded two videos mm -hmm. answering your question that is dentistry a good career in India or not? And I hope that you were able to get the answer to your question. Uh, so today's video is basically, you know, uh, is for those students who have now decided that yes, they want to pursue dentistry as a career. So today's video, we will be talking about if you have decided, first of all, congratulations. Uh, how can you excel, you know, while uh, pursuing BDS? So what all can you do uh, and to make sure that once you're out from the college, your journey becomes really good and is fruitful to you. So um, to discuss all this today, uh, we I'm going to get you into the details. Before that, uh, let me tell you one thing, and we have been saying this very repeatedly, even all the guest speakers that we get on board, they also mention the same thing, you know, uh, repeatedly that whenever you want to excel in dentistry, it dentistry now is not limited to the conventional practice that was done 20, 30 years back, right? Or even 10 years back. It has advanced, you know, uh, very much because this is, Dentistry is one of the most rapidly advancing career as of now or medical stream right now. So you need to make sure that whatever, uh, you know, advanced technologies, advanced dentistry you can practice, that is something that you should start while you are pursuing BDS itself. So the, I'm going to talk about all these tips. And before I start the formal, you know, tips, I want you all to please subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free. We all see... You guys see all the videos, but then, you know, hardly we get the subscription. So please, please subscribe. That's the only motivation for us to uh, make these kind of videos, do a lot of interactive sessions for you all. So please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So starting off with the tips, the very first tips that I'm going to uh, mention is the conceptualized learning. So that's number one, conceptualized learning. So I, I don't know how many of you have seen uh, one of our interactive session with Dr. Sandhya, wherein, uh, you know, the session was all about opportunities uh, in oral pathology and microbiology as the dental career field. So she very clearly mentions that, uh, you know, conceptualized learning is one thing that you should always do from day one of your BDS. So while you are pursuing your uh, education in dentistry, make sure that whatever you learn, whatever you study, whatever you, you know, you gain knowledge on, you should understand why of everything. And it's very beautifully she, uh, she said this because, see, dentistry or any medical field is not something that you keep on mugging because what happens is, say, for example, in one patient, you see class one caries and the other patient also you see class one caries. But the progression of the disease will be different in both the patients, you know. So patients vary despite of the fact that two patients might have similar conditions, but their progression of that disease, their treatment plan might differ. So uh, that's how different healthcare and medical stream is altogether. So you need to understand this. You know, you can, of, of course, there are some scientific names and the scientific knowledge is something that you will have to learn. But then to treat a patient, to treat a particular, uh, you know, uh, a disease or uh, a condition or to even diagnose it, it is very important that you you conceptualize that learning, okay? You ask the why, you understand why of everything till the last why you, you don't get the answer to or you get the answer to. So make sure that you do this conceptualized learning. This is very, very important. And she's explained it very beautifully how this needs to be done. So if you have not watched that video, please watch that. I will share the link in the description box. You can always check that out. So that's number one, which we call it as conceptualized learning. The second tip that I would like to give you is identify your niche area of interest in dentistry. Now, as I said earlier, dentistry is not limited to the conventional dental practice that we have been doing for years now. It is much more than that. It has advanced and it is advancing. So by the time, suppose you are in second year or you have just, you know, you will be uh, get taking admission this year in BDS. You have five years, four years, you know, down the line. So by the time you will pass out, dentistry will evolve much more. So it is very important that from the day one, 
you start identifying your uh, you know niche area of interest in dentistry and how do you do that it's very very simple you talk to your seniors talk to your faculty do more you know come out of that bookish knowledge that you have been gaining and uh, talk about the real world scenarios talk about the real uh, advancements that are happening in the real world that is very very important and all this you will only get to know if you attend conferences you attend webinars now most of the thing is happening online uh, if you talk to your faculty you talk to your seniors your interns because the, they will always tell you what is happening in the real field right or on the field basically so that's very important that you get to know what's what are the advancements that are happening and basis that you identify your niche area of interest so what happens is one year first year second year we generally have pre clinicals and then third year fourth year starts with your clinicals right now by the time you reach fourth year say like half of the fourth year is completed so you should have one favorite department at least one to two okay it can be anything it can be prosthodontics it can be ortho it can be uh, your endodontics it can be conservative dentistry it can be oral medicine so any of the branches that nine branches we have in dentistry you should have at least have two favorite of this and of course when i say two then prioritization like which is the top and which is the second one right so two niche areas or two departments which are your favorite you should have decided by the time you come in fourth year right so that's the second point which is identify your niche area of interest in dentistry so third point third point is an extension of the second point in second point you decided that this is your favorite department right now third point is that you need to identify a micro niche area in that particular niche that you have decided so for example say um, you like public health dentistry right now if you like public health dentistry under that there are a lot of things that you can do you can work as a dental health educator you can work on uh, just fluorosis which is again a very common issue in india uh, you can work on tobacco or tobacco cessation right which is again a very very oral cancer tobacco cessation so these are micro niches so what i mean by micro niches is sub specialties so you have one specialty under that you have sub specialties so two sub specialties you have chosen earlier for each of these two specialties at least write down or identify your two sub specialties as i said uh, like for public health dentistry i gave you example similarly let's talk about conservative and endodontics right now conservative and endodontics department has two parts one is conservative dentistry which revolves more on the restoration part and then you have the endodontics which revolves more on the rcts and you know much more than that so now you need to define which one you like more you, do you like doing restorations more you like doing rcts more right so and if you're doing rcts what kind of rcts do you want to treat uh, what are the tools that you uh, are required you know right now what are the advancements like endodontic loops are used microscopes are used so are you uh, comfortable with this you want to learn this is that your area of interest in restoration again restorative dentistry aesthetic dentistry so what is your sub speciality that you really like in that one particular department this uh, sub speciality you will be able to identify if you attend webinars if you attend conferences uh, if you talk to your faculty because even you know uh, if you see our interactive sessions that we are having for each of the dentistry branch we are always told that there are multiple you know avenues that open up for you so for example even in oral medicine and radiology uh, uh, department either you can work as an oral physician altogether or you work core as a dental radiologist so these are like uh, uh, you know the sub specialties that you can always get into so this is very very important that you identify your niche area first and then your micro niche area so identify your specialty and then sub speciality that is very 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 important so this 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 is the third tip that i would like to give you that please identify with your niche area and micro niche area because this will help you to advance your career in a much better direction okay so that's the third tip now fourth tip is um, i would like to tell you know there are certain allied healthcare uh, professions that are coming up so 
fourth tip is do something extra now when i say do something extra that uh, that uh, means that you don't have to be a geeky dental student right always into books that is not the way to go you need to come out of that zone you you need to explore uh, what are your extra curricular uh, skills that you are good at okay for example i'll give you an example of a, a very renowned doctor dr mayur dawra he uh, works core into dental photo photography okay and he basically how he came up with this particular uh, stream is because he liked photography and of course he did bds so he thought that why not to amalgamate these two fields and come up with a you know third or a new field altogether which is dental photography and he's a well uh, known uh, you know dental photographer dentist in in the dental fraternity so we will definitely be coming up with a session with him so hopefully but that's one thing that you can do right similarly uh, people who are say uh, very good at uh, organizing camps or maybe you are good at management stuff why don't you go into management so there are a lot of other things like dental practice managers right now in india we don't see uh, us you know a huge scope for that but i'm telling you 5 years 10 years down the line it might be a case where you would need a practice manager you know dental practice managers abroad it is highly practiced the entire you know dental clinics are managed by managers you know dental managers over the, uh, in outside india so we are sure that this will happen in india as well if not in the rural side but at, at least in the urban semi urban side it will definitely happen if you see the corporate chain of clinics that we have they generally have one manager who's managing the entire operations right so it is very important that if you think that you are very good in management you pursue a management course and then amalgamate that management learning into your dental field and come up with something you know new so th these are certain avenues that you can open up for yourself similarly we have a uh, veterinary dent dentistry as of now there is no uh, particular course in this or something like that it's only the veterinary physicians that they treat but there are veterinary dentists you know uh, who treat uh, animals so like of course like humans animals also need to be treated right so these are certain extra uh, fields or some allied fields that you can do or you can come up if you think you have those skills or you really want to do something like that so this is your fourth tip that you create your own your own usp like we always say in management unique selling selling point so if you create your create your own usp this might again or uh, give you an edge over the others right so fourth point is do something extra come out with something unique and try to work on it see because there are many courses which are available so if you see if not in india you see, you can always see abroad so there are a lot of other health dental courses which are there allied dental courses which are there uh, being practiced globally so you can do same, same thing for your country as well so that's the fourth point and the last point is building your resume again all the uh, you know guest speakers also the industry leaders they always focus on building your resume so as a bds what can you do to build your resume you can go to conferences you can attend uh, webinars you can uh, you know work on having a res research paper at least work on one research paper as dr sandhya correctly said so there are various ways of why which you can build your resume uh all the work that you do makes sure that the internship year that you uh, you know you have of one year a uh, compulsory internship you utilize that internship year fully completely that's very 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 important because um, the more you work in the internship year the more you can focus on uh, on setting up your dental practice as soon as you pass out right so you utilize that one year of internship in whatever you want to do whether if it's clinical practice or you want to do say a non clinical or a healthcare career that's totally your choice but then whatever you want to wish to do after bds make sure that you are practicing that or you have started working on that uh, while your internship so don't lose that one year of you know compulsory internship in just having fun having fun is also very important but make sure that you utilize that fully uh, to gain the utmost you know uh, uh, you know deep that you want in career 
so these are few of the tips that i would like to uh, share with you and of course uh, in the resume thing uh, if you want more details on how to build a resume what is the correct resume format and you know or the industry format that is being followed if you want more details on building your resume let me know in the comment section i will definitely create a all together a you know separate video on that so that's it for this video uh, i don't want to make it very long it's already been 15 minutes uh, so that's it these are the five tips that i want to you know uh, wanted to give you and you should work on these tips while you are doing your bds or even mds so number 1 conceptualize learning number 2 identify your niche area number 3 identify your micro niche area and for each of this niche area micro niche you should have at least two to you know two micro niches and for each micro uh, sorry two my niches or two department specialties and for each specialty uh, two to sub specialties or two to three i think is good enough right so that's the third thing micro niche micro niche the fourth point is do something extra come out with do something unique if you can do think on some uh, unique you know uh, dental amalgamation of any other extra curricular thing or uh, management or in allied healthcare career that you feel you can integrate in the dental field and come up with something uh, a unique field of work altogether right so that's fourth and the fifth is building your resume so these five tips i think will help you to uh, you know uh, if you work on the uh, on these tips diligently and for all the four years that you have in your hand believe me once you come out and most probably in an year you know once you pass out from your bds you will definitely have a lucrative career in dentistry so dentistry today is has still has a good scope it's just that you need to work more on that you need to grow more on that uh you need to do extra okay you, just the conventional approach is not going to work so you have to make sure that you do something extra and you come up with your own unique selling point that's very very important so i will take you know i'll be ending the video now um and before i do that please subscribe like and share it's absolutely free uh i will see you in the next video and then bye and good luck